A star weeps and crumbles. The warriors celebrated here today have defeated the very stars to stand at the top. Now let us praise them. Praise their bravery for once again choosing the difficult path. Now climb! Let those few and strong who have sought greater heights climb the stairs of glory! Allow me to introduce the new emperor, Team Haseo! And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the awards! Congrats. This concludes the crowning ceremony. Please relax and enjoy yourselves. I guess I'll go and talk to everyone. Haseo! Congratulations on your victory! I'm so happy, I feel like I won it myself! Say, are you gonna take aim at the Sage Palace Emperor's throne next? I can see it, the beautiful sparkle of the stars that surround you. Master Ren was great to watch! I've fallen in love with him all over again! So it's Saku who came. Oh, it's you! Go away! I didn't call for you! Hello, Haseo. It seems you're the star of the party tonight. Ah, <sighs> Master Ren! your time talking to the likes of him. Haseo. I'm afraid I made a fool of myself at the arena. I'm here, fully aware of my shame. What happened to Alcade is my fault. There's nothing I can say that will help. If only I hadn't lost myself in that power. I don't plan on blaming you. It's my fault too. I'm nothing but a mere powerless player now. Please, Haseo. Take care of me. I know. Come on, stand tall. After all, you're the one who cured Adelie, aren't you? It'll be fine. Look, if we just keep on fighting like this wherever we can, everyone's sure to wake up. And since Adelie was healed, I'm sure your special summon will also be fine, right? Long time no see. Didn't know you were here, Beast Man. Yep, I sure am. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart, hurry up with the booze. You drinking in real life again, old man? I don't care what you think. I feel great now. How do you like that? You're sure in high spirits today, Antares. Here, I'll give this to you, so don't give me any trouble.
Congratulations. Although you don't look too happy. Alcade. She still hasn't recovered. Her circumstances are different from the young ladies. So, what do you think that we could do to bring back all the lost ones? The only thing we can do is to not ever run away. Good eyes! It looks like you really liked that little kiss last time, didn't you? Like hell I did! Oh, in that case, let me give you present number two! This time I've come to give you, uh, um, a great big hug! Wait a sec, calm down, stay there! <laughs> hey, stop that! Well, you don't have to be so awfully embarrassed. You've defeated Sirius. We've now seen the difference in power between one who is trapped by desire and one who is supported by faith. I'm kind of tired. I think I'll be by myself for a bit. Ovan never made it to the party today. Neither did Adley. Come to think of it, I didn't see any Moon Tree members. Adelie! You're here. Is the Moon Tree job... Oh. Adelie? Haseo! There you are! What's wrong? What's with all the pale faces? Something bad has apparently happened at Moon Tree. Something bad? Please allow me to explain. Sakaki has betrayed Lord Zelkova. <sighs> Moon Tree's headquarters have been overtaken by Sakaki's followers. Zelkova was PK'd and is lost. A guild dispute? Isn't that something you should just take care of yourselves? If it was just a regular PK, you might be right. Huh? We just got a call from Master Yada. A strong Ida signal was confirmed, coming from inside Moon Tree's headquarters area. Ida? Zokova was PK'd in an area with an Ida signal, and his whereabouts are unknown. Which means that... Yes, there's a possibility he'll become a lost one. Master Haseo, may we request your assistance, please? Why are you asking me? Lord Zelkova always said, if anything ever happens to me, call on Haseo. Me? Please, Master Haseo, I beg you. Tell me exactly what the situation is at Moon Tree Headquarters. The inside was like a nightmare. Adelie. No, it may not even have been her. She attacked Lord Zelkova like she'd been hollowed out, or controlled. Adelie attacked Zelkova? Black orbs came and attacked all of us. Then those possessed by the orbs began attacking each other. Ida's effect on emotions. Kaede. 
Did you notice anything else about Adelie that you can tell us? Notice anything? Wait. Come to think of it, I think I saw those black orbs around Adelie's body too. Oh no. Looking at the situation, it seems most likely that she has also been infected by Ida. Let's go. We can't afford to lose an Epitaph user candidate. No. A sale? It's not just Adelie. I refuse to let anyone else become comatose. I won't let it happen. I won't lose anyone ever again. Right. Aseo, let's go back to town. All right then, we'll all make preparations and meet at the Chaos Gate? Right, let's hurry. I'll invite Kuhn and Pi and go to Delta setting Eternity's Night Moon.